the scenario can be explained in uh, two different ways so ligament injuries uh, without surgery and ligament uh, injury healing after surgery so if the doctor has uh, advised for uh, ligament uh, injury treatment without surgery then uh, it would usually take about uh, at least a minimum of six weeks uh, for the healing to occur this is mostly in terms of uh, the medial collateral ligament injuries which are usually treated without surgery so we are Hello, I'm Dr. Sunil Kini, Consultant, Joint Replacement and Arthroscopy Surgeon at Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. The scenario can be explained in uh, two different ways. So ligament injuries uh, without surgery and ligament uh, injury healing after surgery. So if the doctor has uh, advised for uh, ligament uh, injury treatment without surgery, then uh, it would usually take about uh, at least a minimum of six weeks uh, for the healing to occur. This is mostly in terms of uh, the medial collateral ligament injuries which are usually treated without surgery. So we advocate bracing and subsequent physiotherapy after which the ligament kind of scars down and the doctor reassesses at the end of six months. So for uh, injuries such as these which are uh, non-operatively managed it would take about uh, six weeks to three months for the ligaments to heal. For, for post-op scenario wherein such as an ACL injury or a medial collateral ligament injury uh, which we operate it would take probably about six weeks to three months uh, for the healing to start and to progress considerably. For an anterior cruciate ligament or an ACL injury the injury uh, process would take about six weeks to three months for it to heal although the, the graft healing would take uh, up to about nine months to one year that's the reason we advise uh, patients to uh, restart any sporting activities only after about nine months to one year because the full time uh, to healing for the graft in the tunnel would take pro probably approximate up to a year. The most common injury is the anterior cruciate ligament or the ACL uh, injury. So when patient comes with an ACL injury, it's very important to determine two things. Number one, clinically, whether he is uh, stable or unstable. And second one is what the MRI findings which we usually advocate show. So if the patient is uh, stable uh, in the sense the patient does not have uh, any symptoms of the knee giving way or the knee being wobbly especially while doing stairs or suddenly turning around so that indicates that the knee is relatively stable. But in patients who have got complete uh, tears of the anterior cruciate ligament they usually complain of instability that is says that the knee gives way especially during running or even climbing stairs. Uh, this also has to be correlated with the MRI picture. Most of us get a MRI for a suspected ACL injury. Uh, the injury can again be an incomplete tear as seen on MRI or a complete tear uh, which is seen, uh, seen on an MRI. All this uh, has a relevance when we only uh, team it up with a clinical scenario. So patients who don't have instability or with the partial ACL tear can be observed or treated with non-operative treatment with bracing and subsequent physiotherapy and then followed up. So if these patients uh, are stable, then they can be managed as such. If the patients develop any instability during the course of treatment, that could be an indication for surgery. Whereas for a patient who comes with a complete ACL tear and with instability, especially a young patient, that would be an indicate, uh, indication for uh, an arthroscopic uh, anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction.